Welcome to How to Cook That. I'm Anne Reardon, and this week we are making a dessert inspired by Chef Peter Gilmore's chocolate dessert. His dessert has eight different textures, but we're going to simplify that today and turn this impressive dessert into one that's quick and easy to make. To start with, we're going to need to make our chocolate discs. So take some tempered chocolate and spread it thinly onto a sheet of foil. Once the chocolate's starting to get firm but it's not yet set, cut around something round in the size that you want your dessert to be. I'm using one that's 11 centimetres, that's probably about as big as you'd want to get because otherwise you're not going to be able to eat it all. As chocolate sets, it can tend to warp and go out of shape a bit, so to stop that happening, place another sheet of aluminium foil over the top and cover it with a heavy book. For all the ingredients you need for this recipe, just go to the website howtocookthat.net. There's a link in the description below this video. Melt your butter or your margarine. You can do that in the microwave or the stovetop. Then stir in your sugar. For those of you who are waiting on the chocolate truffle recipes, don't worry, it's coming next week. I am making them and filming them this week for you. For those of you who are new to the channel, I try and do them in order of a cake decorating video, then a dessert or a sweet snack one, and then another chocolate video. So the chocolate truffles will be here next week. Caramel ones are so good. If you've done it on the stovetop, your mixture is probably a bit hot, so you'll need to allow it to cool. And then whisk in your eggs, followed by the unsweetened cocoa powder. I definitely should have used a bigger bowl here. And then your flour and your baking powder. And whisk that all together till it's just mixed in. Then add a dash of masala, which is a sweet Italian dessert wine. It just brings out the flavour of the chocolate. And then a little dash of vanilla and mix those in. Pour that mixture into your baking tray lined with baking paper. Now the one I'm using is 26 centimetres by 38 centimetres and it's probably just not quite tall enough on the sides mine so to stop it spilling over into the oven and making a huge mess I have made my baking paper go up higher on the sides and stapled it into place so that it's not going to overflow. Coarsely chop up some white chocolate. Now you can use whatever you want here. You can add nuts, dried fruit, milk chocolate, dark chocolate, anything that you fancy. Just chop that up and sprinkle it over the top. And if you want a more perfectly looking round dessert, then you don't need to add anything at all. You can leave it plain, which will make it easier to cut exact circles out of it. Or instead of using this brownie mixture, you could use the chocolate cheesecake recipe that I've shown you previously or something else. Just use your imagination. Bake that brownie in the oven until a knife inserted into the centre comes out clean and you can smell that brownie smell wafting through your house, then you know it's done. Allow it to cool completely and then using the same circle object that you used the first time, cut circles from your brownie and then you can eat the scrap pieces on the edge. Mm. So good. Using a smaller cutter, cut out a circle from the centre of each of those. Now to make your ganache, place your chocolate into a bowl. Now I'm using a mixture of milk and dark, that's how I like my ganache to be. You can use all dark, all milk, you can use white chocolate if you like, it's up to what you prefer. Now if you're melting your chocolate in the microwave, be careful not to burn it. Just give 30 seconds, then stir it, 20 seconds, stir it, 10 seconds, stir it, and then just keep giving 10 second bursts until it's melted. Then pour in your cream and mix it. At first that seems like it's not really coming together very well but you just keep mixing and it becomes a nice smooth ganache. Then when you're ready to serve your dessert make sure your sauce is nice and warm. Remove the alfoil from your chocolate disc and place it on top of your dessert. Add a scoop of ice cream then serve it to the table and at the table put a spoonful of your hot ganache on top and it will melt through the centre of the dessert. Now I like to have a real sort of chocolate lava flow to the dessert when people cut into it. If you want that as well, then put some extra ganache into the centre of your dessert before you put your chocolate disc on. And then when you add your ganache on top, it'll have that same dropping effect. But then also when they cut into it with their spoon, that chocolate ganache is just going to ooze out of the dessert, making it just unbelievably yummy. Enjoy and I'll see you next week with the chocolate truffles recipe. Have a good week. Bye.